Leonardo's first drawing may represent views that influenced European thought at that time. These included the idea that there was direct connection from the nervous system, from the brain through the spinal cord, to the penis, perhaps so that an essential component of the male seed, presumably originating in the brain, could be transmitted during intercourse. These ideas were not only common in the West, they were also widely held in East Asia. The ancient Chinese sex manuals frequently referred to the origin of semen, and in many cases referred specifically to the nervous system as the route by which the transmission of the relevant characteristics of semen was achieved. This idea was also important to the ancient Taoists because they also believed that it was beneficial to a man to preserve his semen and return it to the brain. The social, religious and medical interpretations were very different, however, and that question deserves a deeper study. The problem of the origin of human fluids had exercised ancient medicine for a long time, and numerous texts seem to agree on the provenance of semen from near the spine or near the kidneys. It is only in the treatise by Alessandro Benedetti that we find a more specific origin, attributed to Galen. Benedetti mentions in Book 2, Chapter 16, On the Kidneys. The branches of the major vein do not pass into the folds of the kidneys but rather adhere with their heads and do not enter the hollow part but disappear in the body of the kidney, just as the aorta does. From these kidneys the genital semen is generated in large part. In Chapter 17, on the seminal veins, Benedetti states, two seminal, spermatic, veins come from the kidneys to the heads of the testicles. They are called ducts, or pores, and are bloody. Two bloodless arteries, spermatic, stretch forth from the aorta vein, for in coitus spirit, air, perceives the semen, by means of the spirit the semen is propelled in spurts. The most relevant passage for Leonardo's anatomical drawings comes in chapter 18, on the semen which is worth quoting at least in part, the semen is a superfluous nourishment of the body, a material pure and separate from the principal members necessary for generation. The greater quantity of the material of generation, it is believed on the authority of Galen, Galeno test, is drawn from the brain. For this reason a certain very lecherous man whose head was dissected after his death was found to have a very little brain. The veins which pass behind the ears, if cauterized or cut, induce sterility.